Oh, okay. Are you ready to party? This, this series, this session absolutely fucking broke me as a human being because it really made me go, wow, I have been trained by recent generations to have no puzzle solving skill whatsoever and I cannot think of anything even slightly too difficult, so. Thanks for destroying the luck for me, devil boy. And this guy welcome again. to hell. Please accept my gift. Don't be humble. Just take it. After my latest anxiety in life is that I'm as annoying in social situations as Jester. At least I don't have as stupid a nerves. So these fuckers took me a while to realize what their gimmick was, but then I was like, oh yeah, I see now, I gotta shoot them with a gun. Well, isn't that special? To be honest, it's very I'm special. That's not even about the puzzle I'm talking about that fucked me over, but like, I've been doing this blind and like, certain games from certain eras, doing them blind is just a great fucking way to make uh, LP that will already be like, quite a few hours into like, a 50 hour like, LP, because you're the only person in the world that doesn't know how to do this thing, because you've been blind to it the whole time. This is the same problem I had with my Akami playthrough, which I kind of still never finished after a year, because I kind of just, just like, oh, I'll get around to that. It's still ongoing, I'm gonna finish it, it's just that I, like, man, I need to find a good guide so that it's not actually blind anymore, because it's just hours of me wandering around. Oh, I'm just tanking hits here. It become much easier for me to focus on when I'm not playing two different character action games at once on the channel. And to remember which one does what. Because like Ninja Gaiden 2, you, you, you know, Sigma 2, you can just sit around and take as many dumb hits as you want. You don't have to be clever, you can just stand there and block. You can just, you know, there's not, you know, there's no having to always evade hits by rolling and shit. You can just stand there if you want, and like this game punishes you like fucking crazy for doing that, so. As you can see, I'm using Trickster style a lot at the moment whilst I get used to this game because it's the best way for you to have some invincibility whilst you're moving around. really need for like dealing with these fuckers, but not really, but like, you could deal with these fuckers really easily if you just rolled more, like, they don't, they're kind of linear with their attacks, they swoop in, they wind up a lot. There's like two more at the moment, there's, there's so fucking many. I will get it as a new enemy type. Do you need to give me 20 of them, please? They might be like regenerating if I don't hit them quickly enough and making more of themselves or something. I might just be stupid. Let's go step on the Dance Dance Revolution map. Yeah. Oh. Welcome to hell! His, as he teleported, his jaw was spazzing out and the, with the physics. Did you see that? When confetti comes out, it's actually getting damaged. Okay. Okay. Ah, fuck. I will catch the orb. Ah, it's not sure what that is. 
still damage you though. Chasing him around and hitting him with the sword is actually really fucking annoying and it's really hard when you've got like troops to level 1 so it's just like, you know, not the best way to be dealing with this guy, you should just shoot him so he has to like stay still to dodge your bullets. See? Now I do damage. That's big damage. Oh. More orbs. These orbs remind me of something. Holy shit, what, is, what does this remind me of? I've seen a pink style orb like this in something. Oh, fuck. Is it reminding me of a fresh Bandicoot one blob character? That's stupid. Ah, fuck. Why is some green? Am I supposed to hit the green ones? They give me health. Damn it, it's so close. Fuck's wrong with this guy. Is he calling himself Joker and like they call him Jester in the texts? I'm so confused about this character. Excuse me. <laughs> My name is <laughs> just taking thousands of hits that I don't need to take. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> I was expecting him to move again. I will million stab you twice. That's two million stabs. I will just circle strafe you like it's doom. More ha ha ha. <laughs> now you're stun locked, bitch. Yeah. It's gonna do damage when that shields up, but it's like very little damage, and obviously the big bouncing balls will slap you in the face, so. <laughs> I'm learning. I'm learning with my brain. Monkey learn. Evolve to crab. Yeah, almost dead. I think it's like one or two more of those and we'll be done with this boss. Oh man, it's interesting reviewing this, but yeah, like... What does that green one do, man? I'm too scared to find out. <laughs> it might kill me. I feel like this kind of character is the kind that would do that, you know, where it's like, haha, pick up the green orb. Ah ha ha, it kills you instantly. You thought it was hell. Oh, he's so close to being 
dead. Ah, oh, fuck. Oh, they're still here, shit. I was like, why is the shield not going down? It's just there. All the balls bounced off screen. I will stab you. Okay, that wasn't too bad. It's actually like the easiest boss fight I've come across yet, except for the very first guy, which was like an intro to it. Stupid character. But I'm sure he gets harder. Yeah! Now I can marry you, Kart Double Dash. Oh man, imagine a Mario Kart ca Double Dash character where it's like Dante, and then you flip and then Virgil's driving. Oh, that'd be so funny. <laughs> they should make that. <laughs> yes, they should make that thing that doesn't exist anymore. <laughs> okay, so we did that. Ah, fuck. I pressed the button too early, I wanted to show off my dashing. Okay, now what do we do? We got a thing. Did we get a thing? I feel like we got a thing. Let's just put the thing in the thing. The lime and the coconut. Drink it all up. There you go. Now for half an hour of me failing to do a basic puzzle. The door open. Yay! Bounce pads! Ah, fuck. Now I can outrun the storm. <laughs> Seriously, what the fuck am I supposed to do with the information? If the doors on the lower level are open, it's like, great! So I can go to the green door. I'm the green man. The green man. Oh, I'm so glad in the later games they made him run faster. This is so painful. Who runs like that anyway? He's like, <laughs> running so slow. Look at his fucking run cycle. I hate it. Okay. Yippee! Oh. <laughs> i try again. Just not badly. Wahoo! So... Yeah? Oh, it just means I don't have to... Okay. It just makes climbing up and down much more easily. Without having to go through all these doors. Which I go through anyway, because I'm like, what the fuck am I supposed to be doing? This soul stone or some shit. Wait, I have I got the soul stone? Maybe I need to get the soul stone. There was that cage, right? There's a cage. Maybe it's got a zappy boy in it. You know, the first room. Yellow? No, nothing in yellow. Just hole. Big hole. Big hole. <laughs> and now this is when everyone starts screaming at me because they're like, "Fuck you!" Come on, I, I will taunt myself. Oh, you should just know. Why don't you know? Because I never played the game before. <laughs> so I will jump around. Yes, thank you. So trying to dash, jump. Okay, this one. Fuck. So let's see why. You, why are you being such a meanie? Where? Fuck. <laughs> oh, why is the platforming so weird? Why am I like? Why don't do I? There's like a fire door. There's an orb. I like orb. Orb is good. Mm. 
Mini orbs are good. Go up the step. Go around. Seriously. Oh! There's a Vajira. I guess we need this for something. And I get the feeling as it's like the only other thing we can interact with which is obvious. Because the solution to this problem is not obvious because we will go not here. <laughs> I will try and go the wrong way so that I can avoid fighting people but then the lift is just up so I can't make it go down so yeah like uh, I was trying to be lazy and it's actually wasted everyone's time. Back we go, this room is useless now. Down we go. Let me go down. No, not left. Oh, fuck. Wahoo. Yippee. There we go. So yeah, I'm getting the feeling that we stick the swordy thing that's not a sword into the mechanism with the cage that'll give us a zappy boy. Or whatever the fuck it gives us some sort of stone. And uh Yo, I'm wrecking these people this time. Also hitting nothing, but it's fine. <clears throat> There's something in here that we couldn't get before, so we need that. Bare minimum. I don't know why we need it, we just do. Use the Fajura. So I remember saying about it having free slots and whatever. There, open cage. Good. I need cage. So yeah, open the David cage. And we 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 take the soul of steel. There we go. That's what it's called. Now, oh. We're trapped in the Twilight Hall. Okay. So while you're showcasing those enemies, they can attack me. Fucking amazing. It's a good job that they're like a really shit aim. Ah, Sandboy. No. Oh. This is not where you belong. This is a house with no sand. Okay, we'll just get rid of this guy and these guys, oh, there's actually three of them. It's not like they're hard to deal with though, they just sit there and like fire from the spears at you. Oh, oh, the, the orbs. I want the orbs. Oh, it's gone. Fuck. Give me those orbs, then. They really don't go very far. I want to get more orbs. It's locking onto something, but I don't know what. Oh, it's you. Wow, they, they really like you, you in this room, don't they? You. Okay, can I leave? Can I leave? Sure, why not? Off we go. Ah, oh, we have to fight you guys again. I really can't go fight you guys again, but like, I guess you've got orbs. I will farm you. Like, minor amounts of orbs. I need all the help I can get here, so <laughs> any weapon upgrade you may later help fund is like something better than zero, and you're also filling my style meter, so maybe, I don't know, you know, like my uh, trickster meter, if I keep tricking. Bah. Okay, I'm back to the beginning. Do I use you with the fire door? Crimson flames! No? Okay. I have an ice weapon, but that's not the answer.
blue door. Just been in there. Literally don't have any more interactables in my brain, and I'm thinking Soul of Steel looks like something I need to put in something. Ah, fuck! It's not in there. It can't be in there. There's nothing in there but a big hole. And where I was before, and I don't think that centipede area had any uh, thing to interact with. Yeah, no, it's been used. Ah, shit. Ah, uh, like seriously. Why <laughs> are we gonna put an obtuse and annoying puzzle? Oh, man. <clears throat> no, literally, I, I'm sat here like, so there's empty room, empty room, empty room was where the boss was empty room with centipede in maybe the room that we bashed open with the sword when we first met Jester is somehow like related maybe we should maybe that had something because we weren't in that room for very long you know there might be something in there but like I, I fucking doubt it oh dudes there are dudes in here great awesome these assholes again Freaking random battles. They, they get their stupid blood shields back really quickly. At least the upgraded Trickster style feels a lot better. Oh look, more. Quite reach him. It says S here. Why does it say S? It says S on the wall. Do I need to S rank these people? What are you trying to tell me? Oh, fuck off. You're just getting in the way. Like, I'm trying to work out the puzzle. Oh, go away. There we go. There's an S. What does that mean? That I S rank something? Because I don't think so. Shoot you to drop a shield. And the music dies away. So that should mean they're all gone. This. So there's a. Oh, this is part of that room. Okay, is there anything to interact with in here? No. Okay. What's the point in that room? Other than for earlier. Hmm. But I'm out of ideas here, like... Is this no bridge? Is the bridge supposed to come back? Am I supposed to interact with something to bring the bridge back? Uh, I'm gonna like. Not gonna lie. After this, I'm gonna like minimize this kind of running around shit. 
where I'm just like, what the fuck does the game want from me? Because it's not really a puzzle, it's what the fuck does the game want from me? Do I, like, do I have to go back to that space I was in that's underneath the green door room? Like, it's not really a puzzle, it's just trolling me. So I've got this item, it has to go somewhere, right? These dudes didn't do anything. That's forever stuck up, so okay. Nothing in here. No, we've got the item from here. You dudes again. I'm not gonna fight you every time I come through here because a lot of the time I'm coming through because there's like a thing down there too which I can't open. Not yet anyway. <laughs> can I just leave? I can just leave. Less like backwards. There's an elevator shaft here. Can I do anything with it? No. Can't run up the walls because it keeps telling me about its elevatorness. Divinity statue and some sort of thing here. It looks like it's like should be set on fire or something. I don't know where I'm going. Fuck. Ah. <laughs> Run up the wall. I will not run up the wall. Ugh, fuck this tower, man. And it's bad enough that I'm not particularly great at the combat and the bosses quite yet, but like expanding it to the fact that I don't know where the fuck I'm going half the time and the game does not tell you and it's like fuck you buy a guide. It's just making this like way too annoying. It's back up here, I mean I just had a blue orb shard. There's nothing up here man. Some red orbs. Yeah, let's look at the item. Maybe it's going to tell me something. Should not fear hell. Great. Okay, I'm going to look this up and come back in the next part. Fuck this.